Morning, Mr. Shaw. Everything's set for your dinner party. The guy stole from everyone who works in your building. They're gonna get our money. It's all gone. All right, hello, welcome to What the Flick. It is an exciting, action-packed day full of stunts. Well, people doing their own stunts, I think. I, I, I insist own. on doing my own stunts. <laughs> I never do my own stunts. Alonzo has no ass double. Um, I am Christy Lemire. <laughs> but I do have double ass. <laughs> that is Alonzo Duralde. That is my Atchity. We're starting out today with Tower Heist. This is like an enormous ensemble of just everybody in the world and their mother. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. It's very, it's very, uh, it reminds me of kind of old school 60s, 70s mm -hmm. sort of caper movies. So you're saying you want to rob $20 million from Arthur Shaw's penthouse apartment? Yes. You're going to go to jail. Yes. You're going to die. Probably yes. both. Yeah. Yes. Join me. I'm in. I'm in. Well, now we're undefeatable, aren't we? Let's storm the castle together. We're not criminals. We don't know how to steal. You know someone who does. You made bail. Roll with the top dog. Do it like a rock star. In a robbery, you have to be ready to adapt at any moment. Oh, you got your ears. I will blow your face off your face. So sadly, Matt Atchity has not seen this movie yet. But I loved it. But he loved it. He <laughs> gave <laughs> a big thumbs up. Exactly. Um, I was surprised at how much I like this. I'm surprised at how much you like it, but, but you know go what? on. Here's why, because it looks really stupid, but mm. there's a lot going on that really works here. Eddie Murphy is back in his best form. This is like, uh, this harkens back to movies like 48 Hours and Beverly Hills Cop, where he's fast talking, but he's flummoxed, and there's all that false bravado, and he's a blast, and when he's away, the film deflates a bit. It harkens back to that, but I don't think it captures that. It, it, no. feel, it felt sort of like, Grandpa trying to do his old, you know, like tap dance routine, and at this point, has got he's a little creaky and. But he hasn't it, been this good in a while, though. This is not like well, him crawling into a fat suit or talking yeah, to animals. Well, I mean, the bar is set low, right? I was going to say taking taking Dream Girls out of the equation, mm -hmm. like right. for, for a new high for Eddie Murphy, that's not right. that's damning. I mean, it's praise. it's no daddy daycare. Yeah, you know, it's no Norbit. Um, <laughs> the Oscar nominated Norbit, never forget that <laughs> Norbit was Oscar nominated. My, yes. here's my, 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 I, I had I had some fun while I was watching this. And then the further away I get from it, the more it kind of bugs me how underwritten this film is. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't really get a sense of the characters much at all, which, not that you have to have super deep characters for a cape movie, but a little something, you know. There's like that one scene where Eddie Murphy flirts with Gabri Sidibe and then it's never mentioned again. Um, why is Matthew Broderick even in this conspiracy? He did, I mean. He has nothing better to do. He has no job. He He's does, being foreclosed but on. He, has he no, needs the he has, money. He has no skill. Why do they go to him, though? He needs to get his money back. He has no, he doesn't know. He didn't lose money to Alan Alda. No, but no, but he, is broke. He's broke, but he's got no yeah. skills, you know. I mean, if you're putting together a team of people to do a heist, having a hangdog expression is not exactly a skill that you're looking for. But that's for, part of know? the right. joke is but that they're that, unqualified. But you need that in a movie. Well, I guess, but, 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 but give, a, give us some reason that he's there, like some skill that he has, some no, some know-how that he has, otherwise it's, I don't know. Um, well, there's there's that whole scene where Casey Affleck talks about how, you know, the, they make a big deal about how it's Thanksgiving, like there's the Macy's Day Parade, it's this whole complicated thing, and you think that's gonna set up some complicated plot stuff. And, and Casey Affleck has a speech about, oh, it's our busiest day of the year, it's our Super Bowl, the, there's gonna be all these catering trucks, and there's gonna be all, you know 40 parties going on, blah, blah, blah. And then we never see anybody in the halls, except for the one old lady with the dog. We don't see any catering trucks. We don't see anybody in the lobby that isn't staff. So you it's are like, totally nitpicking. No, this why? This is the thing that bothers you that no, 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 no. in the hallways Because, because you're see, they have set up that it's gonna be this complicated thing. They've gotta get past the feds, they've gotta get past the security. They knock out the one fed, and that's it, bam, done. Like, it, it, they, they promise a much more labyrinthine, fun caper. Like a caper movie has to have certain complicated things that the heroes figure out how to outsmart. And this one is very lazy about that, and they sort of mention some things that might be an obstacle, and then they are an obstacle. You know what, the, it's, a, it's way more complicated than it's supposed to be, because the thing that they think has the money is not actually it. And I'm not gonna give it away, but they what they have to steal is much larger okay, and more yeah, complicated no, than they ever expect. That's a one cool idea, and that even gets into other stuff that I didn't don't think makes sense, but I'm not going to talk about it it's a right. spoiler. Uh, there are some very fun set pieces in mm -hmm. this. The whole hanging off the side of the building mm -hmm. stuff is very, like if you have vertigo, right. You'll go get you popcorn. You that's do not like, want to watch this. That's part of why I like it because it feels like actual people doing actual stunts Definitely. versus like the CGI that is so prevalent even no, in no, action no. comedy. Absolutely, now. Like, it feels I, substantial. I, I, I give you that, and there are there's a certain breeziness to it. I really liked uh, Christoph Beck's score. Yes. Mm -hmm. It has a very kind of jazzy Lalo Schifrin sort mm -hmm. of '70s caper movie kind of thing, and you know they really make good use of the New York locations. Mm -hmm. You know the Macy's Day 
parade, all these different neighborhoods in Central Park, and um, you know, I mean, it it it, it feels like a real movie. Uh, you know, it, it's that's the thing about Brett Ratner. From the outside, these look like actual <laughs> movies, and then you get in and watch them, and you're like, but nobody wrote this, This you know? is the best <laughs> movie I think he's ever made, though. This is better than the Rush okay, Hour movie. Okay, that's as bad as no, saying no. this is Eddie Murphy's no. best work but in, in terms here. Of combining, yes, like, okay, yes, it is. No, in terms of combining, like, the slick action comedy and being crowd-pleasing and also having some substance to it, I mean, this is a great cast. It Everyone's is great really cast. good in it. I just agree completely that they are not well drawn because they all have backstories and they play a lot of this very seriously and very straight, and that's why it's funny. And that's I, why it resonates in a lot of I, ways I, 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 for I people will, who are also struggling financially. No, no, no look, say. the timing couldn't be better right. for the plot as far as you know getting the revenge on the rich guy. It's a very talented cast, and they certainly take the scraps they're given and turn them into something resembling a meal. I mean, Michael Pena, one of my favorite mm -hmm. character actors, is very funny and really creates this wonderfully sort of oddball character, but I just kind of felt like at the end of it, I didn't really know who any of them were. They all have motivations, but they don't have personalities. No, That's, they that all was the feel thing way me. more fleshed out than I would ever expect, and there's a great scene with Tay Leone, who I would have liked to have seen more of. As the Go FBI, on. and as the FBI agent on the case, <laughs> the tough as nails FBI agent. But she's this great drunk, flirty scene with Ben Stiller, and uh, I like this way more than I ever expected. I, I had a lot of fun. It's breezy, yet substantial. It's lighted beautifully. It is shot. It and is. Lighted it is. It is. Yeah, Dante Spinotti Dante shot Spinotti. it. It looks. It looks great. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, and so like I said, while I was watching it, I was enjoying myself because it felt like I was seeing a real movie. And then the more <laughs> I thought about it later, I was like, but, and then. <laughs> You know, so I just, I, you know, I think that what's fun about caper movies is that they're complex. Like, you know, when you think about the caper in Die Hard, for instance, the whole thing where Hans Gruber is two steps ahead of everybody else, and he wants them to turn the power off, because that's the only way he's going to get in the safe. Like, all those little pins fall into place, and that's what makes a fun caper movie. And this one's just lazy. The joke of this, though, is that they are not qualified to do this. Like, they've never stolen anything. There's this whole sequence where Eddie Murphy makes them all go out and shoplift right. something just to prove that they can steal something. That is the joke, is that they try to pull this complicated stunt off, and they have no idea what they're doing. That's uh, the but, uh, but, I, but the thing is, that, but, the, but then, then don't drag all the Thanksgiving stuff and make it sound like it's going to be this whole complicated <laughs> thing when it ultimately isn't. They stumble into it. They stumble into actually Pretty pulling much. it off. Yeah. All right, let's do numbers. Um, I will, for, for what works for it for me, I'll say 5.8. I'm going to say 7 because it does drag here and there. It's not fun when Eddie Murphy is away. So it's a 6.4. I believe this is doing better in Tomato Land than anybody would ever expect. Correct? Yeah, it's at like 68% at the moment. Yeah. Right. Shocking. I, that that is one of his better rated movies. One yeah. of Ratner's better rated better rated movies. Again, damning with faint praise. Okay, have fun. <laughs> Thanks. Bye bye.